Okay, so let's get started learning our last set of software for Intro to Graphics Software. The icon we're going to look for is the Cork Express icon on our dock. It's the round greenish one that has an X going through it, so let's click it. What Cork Express is, is a multi-page um, document layout software. Uh, unlike Photoshop or Illustrator that we've been using, which allows you to edit one document at a time, one page at a time, Cork Express will allow you to create multiple page documents such as magazines, books, maybe even whole flyers or poster layouts. Um, and in addition to not only being able to manipulate uh, ed images, you can also add text and merge text and images to, to, together to create a, uh, your, the designs that you want to create. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new project and I'll go back to show you exactly how to make new projects later just so you can get a feel for the layout of what Cork Express is. Now you'll see a lot of similarities to some of the Adobe software that we have. Uh, Cork Express, our main area, is called our layout page and everything that's on this one page uh, will is what is printable. Anything that's outside of this page on your, is called your pasteboard and nothing will be printed that's on your pasteboard. So if you're working with something and you need to put an image or some text off just to work on it later, you can do that. Uh, additionally, you can create multiple pages, but right now it's just showing one page. If you have your rulers turned on, uh, you'll notice there are rulers at the top and along the side of your document. Additionally, there's also our menus located at the top of our page, and if we click, we get multiple um, items and uh, different things you can do with the different menu options at the top. Our main toolbox is located on the left hand side and we'll learn a lot more about these tools. Just like in the Adobe products, if you see a tool that has a small uh, arrow at the bottom right hand corner, if you'll click and hold, you'll get a lot more tools associated with that tool. On the right hand side are our different uh, floating palettes. The three main palettes that we'll be concerned with is our page layout, and this will show you all the different pages. Our style sheets, we won't get too much into the style sheets, but I'll explain them later. And also our colors palette. This will allow us to change color for different boxes and text boxes. Additionally, let me go ahead and just create a text box really quick. Down at the bottom, this is known as the measurements palette. It's probably the most important palette to have open in Cork Express. Sometimes you can move a palette around, just like in uh, Cork Express, by clicking on whatever the, uh, the main menu bar, the little bar on it. So if I click and drag, I can move, say, my measure measurements palette around. And if you don't have your measurement me measurements palette down at the bottom of your screen, go ahead and put it there. Additionally, if you don't have all of your palettes along the side, the right-hand side, you can move them over here as well. Uh, just like in uh, the Adobe products, if you need to find a palette or a window, go up to Window and clicking once. This will give you all the different palettes for Cork Express. The ones that have a check mark beside them are the palettes that are currently open and active. So if you need to open up any other one, say the Layers palette, by clicking on it, you'll see that the layers palette has now appeared on the side. If you ever need to collapse uh, a palette, simply double click on the gray bar, double click, and it will collapse it, give you some more space to work with. Double clicking again will open it up. Or if you need to delete it, simply click on the red icon in the lo located at the top left hand corner. Additionally, if you need to resize your working area, the little uh, square at the bottom right hand corner of your layout page will allow you to click and drag and you can change the size of the layout you're working with. And just as the other documents, you can click on the gray bar at the top and move it around as well. You'll also notice on the gray bar, you can see the name of your project and which layout it is. And we'll go into that more as we learn how to create new documents. So this is the layout for Cork Express. It's very much like a uh, regular layout for any Adobe product. And of course, if you need to close out anything that you've created, you've got your three menus up here. So we'll click the red one and close it out. I'm not gonna save this. And if you ever need to quit Quark, we'll simply go up to Cork Express 
and go down to Cork Express.